YouTube, I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different tabletop game on Kickstarter every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter project is being ran. And today, I'm very excited to check out the immensely popular Monster Hunter World, the board game, the ultimate tabletop Monster Hunter experience, cooperative and arena combat board game based on the dot dot dot. We can pretty much fill in the blank. I must say, that little excerpt right there is pretty special. Stinking good. It gets me excited about the game and it tells me what I want to know. Cooperative. Excellent. 1.7 million currency, which is probably going to be about $2 million. Eight days left to go. This thing just launched yesterday. And wowzers. And one thing I want to point out right here is I get I get a very clear feeling for how large this box is. Which I do like right from the jump. I'm dealing with a large box here. <sighs> what are we getting into here? Now I must say, I'm very interested to see uh, Capcom on Kickstarter. Because uh, they've been doing more and more... What is this? We apologize, but it looks like something's gone wrong. We've been notified about this issue, and we're currently looking into it. Check our status blog for updates. Oh, no. Oh, niggity, niggity, no. Is this is this how this episode of Kickstarter Critique is going to end? No, it's not. We're good. We're here. <laughs> okay. So, as always, uh, when I go into this video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Hopefully you can convince me of at least one of those threes in this video right here. Plus you use emojis. I love emojis. Okay, let's go. Get to it. There we go. That was cool. That that did a great job of just setting up the epic scale of this game and the kind of situations that me and my friends uh, are going to get into where we're like, oh my gosh, we're surrounded by monsters. So that's good. I like what they did there. I was a little bit skeptical at the beginning. It was a little bit slow at the beginning, but this is exactly what I want to see. And the other thing that I really like is that I clearly have a good idea of the size of these minis just by eyeballing the other minis and saying, whoa, these are these are big minis. <clears throat> so I like what they're doing here. They're showcasing a lot. Cool. We speed this up a bit. <laughs> Smidge. Ooh. Okay, this is what I want to see. Create clever combos to deal mighty blows. You're going to have your little board here. Lots of card play. Excellent. Hello, successful. Uh, very cool looking. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, that's what I want to see. I want to see this overly complex, tons and tons of symbology. Uh, and no, I'm not even joking. I love seeing this. This tells me that there is just unlimited potential for different monsters and different combinations and different things you can fight. This is what I want to see. I didn't want to see something basic and generic here. Uh, that, that that sells me. That, convinc that, that gets me more excited about the game. That right there. Because that's just the monster I'm fighting. And that monster appears to have a pretty good dang amount of variability from a different monster, from a different monster. Not to mention each character is going to be different, the weapons are going to be different, and I think they're going to get more into that in a second, hopefully. Ooh. Oh. There it is. So is that, oh, that's like a skill tree? Excellent, excellent. That gets me excited. That's what I want to see. So my character is going to be different from time to time to time? Like it. Craft upgrades to unlock powerful new abilities. Very cool. Choice driven quests. Slay more. Mo oh, there we go. How big are they going to get? Stupid, stupid big. 
No, uh, shut up. There it is. Oh my gosh. We don't have another one. That's gotta be it. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god, that's, that's so dumb. That's so dumb. It's so dumb that we live in this age of board games. Like, go back 20 years and look at the games that we were playing happily. You know, <laughs> it's like, go look at some of the components for some of these games. And this is, this is what we're at. Like, are we going, like, when does it stop? How does it stop? Like what kind of components? At what point does it stop? I don't even know. <laughs> it's amazing, amazing. Three ten millimeter and conquer the. Ooh, okay. So board goes upside down. Okay. I thought that was a good video. I did. I thought that was a good video. Do I want it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks cool. I, it didn't. It didn't amaze me. And, and one thing I want to give a shout out to right now, and some people are not going to like this, is is I checked out Simon's new minis game. I don't even know what the hell the minis game was just a couple days ago. And it really shows just how good they are at what they do. That, that like, this video is very good, but it's like, that doesn't even hold a torch to the, to the last two Simon videos that I've seen. You know, they really have it perfected down to an art. But as always, so, so I do. So, nine created, 20 backed, which is good, because as always, do I want it? Yeah. Can you do it? Steam Forge. We look. We always go back here to check to make sure everything's looking good. Uh, we got awesome. We got lots of collaborators, which means we should have some excellent customer service here. Nine created, twenty backed. Let's take a look. See how many pending games we have. So I know Bardsung is not out yet. Resident Evil Three, the board game, did not though that was a thing. Let's see. Is this out? Uh, Fourteen thousand comments. Wowzers. So, actually, we can probably just check the updates here. I, so, what I like to do here is just see how many games they have pending. Because I think that's an important thing to know. Because, you know, it's it's just like... It, once that number gets to a certain point, I feel like different people are going to be uncomfortable. You know what I mean? Like, for some people, it's like, oh, they have three games sitting out. It's like, no, I'm not going to back them. Or if they have ten games sitting out, that's when I start to worry. You know, what is the number for you? Behind the scenes photos and good news. Closer looks. Yeah, so this is all... So, this is not out yet. So, we're looking at... Uh, Monster Hunter would be one, two, two, uh, three, Devil May Cry. Let's see, is this one out? I don't think this is out. I, I think I would have seen pictures I've heard about this one. Right? Wouldn't you think? Uh, Devil May Cry, first official FAQ. What's up, Devil Hunters? We're psyched to release the first official FAQ for Devil May Cry. We hope it, we hope it helps with some of the more puzzling questions like, can I attack my friend, or is that fury stunned? It's, oh, oh, so the rules were not as good as, Okay. So that worries me a little bit, but it looks like they have about three games, uh, two games pending, and this will be the third game. So that's not too bad. So can they do it? Yes. I, I feel pretty comfortable. Steamforge has a name that, that, that this is going to happen. So that's a check mark. So how much is it? Let's get to it. Monster Hunter, this is the board game, The Ancient Forest, and this is what I'm going to be getting. Oh, that's just a generic picture of it. Okay, one to four players, age 14 plus, 69 minutes. We got some quotes. Monster Hunter World, the board game, shows the right way to adapt a video game for the tabletop. <laughs> what, is, what is that? Really? Is that... Is that that's, a, that's a terrible quote. Like, why would you take that quote? Like, it's just... Eh. It doesn't tell me anything about the game. It doesn't get me excited in any way, shape, or form. It's like, oh, this person said that they did it the right way. Cool. This game does an incredible job in terms of fan service to the video game. To anyone who likes the video game to begin with, offhand, I can recommend it. So, if you like the video game, you will like this game. That's still not the quote that I personally want to see, as someone who never got past playing more than 15 minutes of it. My son loves it, but I just couldn't get past it. It wasn't a game for me. Um, so I still don't know anything about the game, based on these quotes. The Monster Hunter World board game feels just as complex and strategic as the video game. Cool. Once again, Garbage quote. <laughs> like, it doesn't tell me anything. Like, it's not like, oh, the way that I synergize with my teammates when it creates these really cool combos. Like, it doesn't tell me anything. It's just fluff. This all feels like fluff so far. I don't like it. I also want to know the price. You know? So what are we getting into? Members of the Fifth Fleet, get ready for the ultimate monster hunting experience on your tabletop. Gather your party, grab your massive weapon, and embark on a cooperative quest in an open world where your choices matter are with your... Oh, yeah, that's right. Choices. That gets me excited again. Steamforge Games has always done incredibly well with their miniatures. What, okay, why are they, these aren't quotes that I can't, whatever, 
If this cooperative arena combat game for one player said in an open world, it's and let me know, please let me know if I'm being outrageous here. But I don't feel like those are good quotes. Like none of those quotes are like, "Ooh, I feel more confident that I'm going to back this now." It's just, they just feel like PR fluff. The more monsters you slay, the better your weapons you can craft, the bigger the monsters you can hunt. It has the most appealing core loop of any video game adaption I've played. It has the most appealing core loop. What the hell does that mean? I love video games. I have an X. I got the, the fancy Xbox. I've been, you know, I, I've had my Xbox Live account for like 13 years. I absolutely adore video games. I obviously absolutely adore board games. What does this quote mean? Please let me know. These quotes all make me think this is the best bad game I've ever played. <laughs> First time on Kickstarter, read this. Cool. Well, why is there an arrow, though? Like, you want me to click it, but it's like it looks like it's pointing. It's like, look over here. Uh, so, pledge levels. Here we go. This is what I want to see. 51. And once again, oh, they did. They did. Beautiful. Beautiful, Steam Forge. Converting it to the different currencies. I love it. I love it. And so many people say, oh, the currency fluctuates. Shut your mouths. Give the damn currency. And say, you know, it fluctuates. It just it drives me nuts. This is so 51, 58, 70. A good chunk of the world knows how much it's going to be. Total value of $90. What does that mean? Duties and tax included. Oh, so that's great. So does that mean we're saving $20 here? I think that's what they're trying to say here. So extra large monsters, you get four. Hunters, you get four. So that's eight minis. Cards, 600 plus. Jesus, that's a boatload of cards. Double-sided game board, rule book, quest book. Okay. Uh, it wasn't quite what I was expecting. This isn't a miniatures extravaganza by any stretch of the imagination. There's eight minis here. Now, I'm sure the, the stretch goals are going to massively change things. Uh, but okay, what's so I feel like this is a pretty reasonable price for 600 cards. Four giant minis. Four. So I feel like the price is reasonable at this point. Retail MSRP of entry pledge, I think, is $90. Yeah, okay. Total value of $90. Yeah, but, but once again... Is it, a, I, I couldn't tell because, it, were they talking about taxes here? Or, yeah, I think that is probably going to be MSRP retail. Uh, because they haven't mentioned that this is the only place you can get it. Which, okay, so here are the minis. And, wow, those are some pretty dang impressive minis. Tons and tons of cards. Awesome. This gets me excited. It screams variability. Ancient Forest Hunters, Great Sword. So we've moved on to something else, I think. Or is this... Are we still on the components? Yeah, I think the... So this is more in-depth on the components. Okay, so these are the four different characters. Uh, they don't actually have names, apparently. <laughs> they're just... They're known by their weapons. Okay, I'm sure that's something that's, that's in the board game, in the video game. Hunt down more information about great sword, dual blades, bow, sword, and shield. Why Why would I want to do that? I'm curious. What's what's so... Inter what, uh, what, what would you write? Journal 2, Monster Hunter World, the board game. We have our first party member, the great... Oh, so these are behind-the-scenes things. So if I really want to get in the weeds... Okay, I do like the fact you put that there. That's great. Like, if I'm one of those people who's like, I'm, oh, this game, this is going to be my favorite game of all time. I'm so excited and obsessed. I, I, you know, I might read that. Ancient Forest Monsters. Now, these... Are these are these the minis in the game? The Ancient Forest Monsters. So, yeah, okay. So, yes, we're spotlighting every component uh, a little bit more closely. Okay, I can get behind this. Uh, cool. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Different spots where you want to attack them. Excellent. This is good. I like this. I like how they have this laid out. I'm not against this at all. Because I, I assume what's coming next, next logical progression to me, is more stuff that I can buy. Or stretch goals. So here's the... Wait. Okay, and everything from the entry pledge, plus... Now I like how they did that. That is spec-freaking-tacular. More companies need to take note. You don't just there. You go. Everything from that plus. Just I don't need all this comp. I don't need a wall of text or, or it's just like that. Great. And so now I'm getting. Wait, 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 wait. So we have extra large monsters. So we're getting the one extra, extra large monster. Four hunters and dear God, six hundred more cards. That's insanity. That's twelve hundred cards. Oh my gosh. Uh, plus all daily unlocks, and there you go. So, I imagine nobody... So, this is going to be the one that goes into stores that most people probably aren't going to want, and this is going to be the one that I think is going to be the most popular because people want that gigantic miniature. So, let's see it. Wild Spare Waste... And then they have the price here. So, $140, you know... 
And that, that's such, I mean, that you know if that's a lot to you. For me personally, that's just, that's bombastically. It's like, oh my gosh, why did I pay $140 uh, for a board game? But then again, I'm lower middle class. Like, you got to remember that. So, but, but, but anywho, what do we got? Let me show you the miniatures. Charge Blade. Ooh, that looks cool. Switch Axe. Oh my gosh. So these, these are very cool looking minis. So, oh, Inspective Blade. Great. Heavy bow gun. Whoa, these are gorgeous. These are awesome. I'm excited. Wild Spare Waste Monster. Now, is this the extra large one? I want to see the XXL. Oh, this is the XXL. The Diablos, the apex monster of the Wild Spire Waste. A menacing territorial beast that lurks underground. Loud noises will cause it to lunge out of the sand in search of prey. And then the... Ooh, what is this? The Kickstarter exclusive Kula Yaku. So this one will never ever ever come out ever again which is why I, I have to spend the 140 dollars instead of the 70 dollars right that's that's how this works because i gotta get the yula kuku which actually looks really cool uh and then we have the all in oh because there's more there is more so the 289 dollars because for, because that is the price that we've all decided you know what we're now fine with going 250 to 400 dollars like that's the new high-end whale i remember when 100 i remember when like 150 people were like oh my god 150 and now it's like yeah 289 hmm that's it's pretty good it, it's it's crazy like when does it stop it's it's so fascinating to me elder dragon kushladora elder dragon naraganti elder dragon teostra hunters i don't know what any of this stuff means the, oh, so they're minis. They're minis. Why Why did we change the format of how we did this? I like the, the XL, the double XL, the, the regular minis thing. Why did we... Because what size are these? I don't know. Why would we do that? Why would we go from the XXL to the to the XL to then just nothing? And you're just telling me the names of the dragons. I think that's an odd choice. Uh, Hunter's Arsenal, Longsword, Gunlace, Hammer. We get it. It's cool. Elder Dragons. And they better have shipping after this. I know they won't. I know they won't. Because for whatever god-awful reason, Kickstarter companies, everyone at Kickstarter just decided, we're, ne we're never going to put the shipping next to the price. We're just not going to do that. That's not how we roll. We like to put a bunch of useless crap in the middle. Make you search for that shipping. Naragonti, Teostra. So once again, I don't I don't know what size these minis are. And you've been you've done such an excellent job throughout this entire thing so far, this 18 minutes, of me having an idea of how large the minis are. Then for whatever reason, when we get to this major all-in pledge, okay, so it says 120 millimeters base space. That's cool, but I still is that XXL? Is that XL? You had a system going and then you abandoned the system to intel instead telling me millimeters, which once again, I'm a stupid american i don't know what millimeters is so let's see 120 millimeters to inches let let me be wowed that is 4.7 inches okay that's a cool looking mini great <laughs> uh expansion oh wait 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 oh wait, wait, wait uh did i get lost did i get lost did i get lost no i didn't get lost we're here so the expansions the elder dragon hunter arsenal expansions are already included in the all-in pledge and can be added on the pledge as optional buys oh okay uh okay i'm sure if for whatever reason i didn't i uh, okay wait are all they so i'm 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 really i'm a little bit taken back so these are things we've already been shown right the elder dragon kushaladora let's see so the entry pledge does not come with the kushaladora this one does not come with the kushaladora this is the only one that comes with the Kushla Door. okay so the kushaladora expansion so these are wow these are big box expansions sixty dollars wowzers oh the individuals have the xxl stuff so i, I kind of wish i feel like oh, what they should have just a triple xl what the hell there's a triple xl where how many freaking x's are we getting well i thought we were done with double am i gonna keep scrolling and get to quadruple is that how you make two million dollars on kickstarter have i uncra have i unleashed the code okay so uh triple xl cool so now I get it. If you if you don't want to get all these minis and you just want them, buy them a la carte or whatever. Okay, great. Now I'm very interested to see which of these pledges were the most popular. So 306, this is for the... Yeah, this is the one I don't think most people... Did they did they actually do the shipping in here? Oh, I already back because I want to mention something there. Uh, so this is the $143. That's the one I imagine is going to be most. 1100 and this is the big one. Wow, 7,299 people went for the all-in whale. And you know what? I now that I now that I see that number and how staggeringly big it is, it does make complete sense to me because I'm looking at this from the board game perspective. I'm not looking at this from the video game perspective, which is from the video game perspective. As a video gamer, 
I probably don't have a mountain of board games. Like, like, like it's it's ridiculous right now how many board games I have around me. Whereas a, uh, a video gamer is like, oh, you know, I've got two or three games, but this could be my one big game where I'll have everything for it. So I, I get that. I do get that. Plus, I imagine we're going to get to the daily... Really? There's supposed to be daily unlocks and we haven't even seen anything about those yet? That that seems a bit interesting. Jesus Christ, we're at on stockpile. What the, didn't we did didn't we just talk about this? I could have swore we just talked about this. Um. Okay. Great. I, I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm <laughs> wow. Woo. How to add on? Okay. The thing at the end. Daily unlocks. So I, I, I feel like this should be higher. You've hit your $2 million goal. At this point, it's not about getting funded. It is about garnering buzz, garnering excitement. You clearly have this 10 days for a very specific reason, which is we are going to get all the buzz we could possibly get for these 10 days. They're not going to have a lull. They're going to have daily unlocks every day. So let's see what they are. The campaign won't feature stretch goals that are unlocked once you reach a certain funding level. Instead, every day will automatically unlock an extra login bonus reward that will be added to every core an all-in pledge for free. So essentially, there are 10 things that they have not shown us yet. That's it. That's all this is. Uh, it's just, and they're just unlocking them every single day, which is fine. You know, th this is a different way to do stretch goals, and I think a lot of people would argue that this is actually better than stretch goals. I don't know which one personally I get more excited about, but uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. All right. This campaign won't feature... So, uh, so what is this? Every day, you'll get an extra reward added to your pledge. So I get, I get a, a mini... Extra mini, two extra minis. Cool. Um, I just feel like this, 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 this section is not nearly as exciting as it should be. And, and if you have not checked out Simon's most, and I hate to go back to Simon, but you know we're talking about multi-million dollar Kickstarters. There's not too many companies to compare you to. You are in rarefied air. Go to the stretch goal slash daily unlock section of a Simon project. And see how much more exciting it is than this. <laughs> like it's like oh, daily unlock. Like because when you get to this section and like and like a, a Simon project, you're like oh, I'm gonna be scrolling for a while. There's gonna be tons of crazy stuff. Look at and then it's like here and you're like oh, daily unlocks. And it's like oh, okay. Well, there's a oh, that's cute. Nice, thank you, thank you for that. I'm glad that that's in the game. That's uh, that's really cool. Um. So I'm going to leave this, my $280 here, and uh, I'll come back tomorrow to see what else you add to the game. You know, and just, just these are underwhelming to me. Maybe they're going to maybe they're gonna do some bigger ones later on. Also, you don't really give me much information here. No, I'm sure this information is in the updates. All right, so the daily unlocks are boring, so they don't want them higher. <laughs> they're hiding the daily unlocks. Uh, alternative sculpt and token replacement so far. Is that what these are? Like, I don't even know what these are. Um, okay. Hunt down more information about great... Oh, cool. You, I, I can click away somewhere else. I don't want to do that. Keep an eye on the updates, information on unlocks, and will come during the campaign. Kickstarter exclusive game overview. It's time to journey to an uncharted land. Okay, so we're, we, I still own the shipping. Because once again, I, I called it. I called it, didn't I? They won't put the damn shipping. We're going to spend 45 minutes talking about every single freaking add-on we got. But when, we, when it comes to letting you know how much it's going to cost to get to you... Eh, you, you you need to know more about the game overview. You need to see another quote from Dicebreaker. And this, so far, I have not liked two of their quotes. The third one, I feel it's going to be the one. I'm going to love it. Monster Hunter World, the board game, is shaping up to be one of the better video game adaptions to hit the tabletop in years. No! No, no, no! I hate it! It's so big, like, ah! These are so terrible! And I'm not putting it on Dicebreaker, you know? It's, I'm putting it on Steamforge. Like, this is, that's not a quote that gets me excited. That looks like the most generic... Blah. Battle Mastiff Monsters in a wide open world with two complete core sets. Playable. I already saw so much stuff about this. I found this to be a surprisingly nuanced tactical miniatures game. It adds complexity without making things feel overwhelming. That's better, but still a surprisingly nuanced tactical miniatures game. Hey, what'd you think about that game, Dave? Well, uh, I found it to be a surprisingly nuanced tactical miniature game. Like... If you ask your friend that, and that's the answer they give you, what, what, oh, it adds complexity without making things feel overwhelming. I, I, I just want more into the weeds quotes, I guess. The game itself is not fiddly in the slightest. Now, there we go! Finally something that I want to hear. There's not a lot that gets in the way of quick, simple fun. This game is very streamlined. That should be your first quote. 
That should be the quote above all other quotes, above all that other fluff. That one right there. Not fiddly. Streamlined. That's what I want to know. Explore the Lord. <sighs> the crafting is really enjoyable. <laughs> okay? I, I do like that. I do like crafting. Uh, Big Monsters, once again, slap some inches on here. You did it with the prices. You, you were nice enough to assume I don't know how to convert currency. Also, do me the same due diligence as a stupid American to also realize that I do not know how to quote millimeters to inches. And half the people that are on Kickstarter are from the United States. The, the other half is the rest of the world, who's smart enough to use millimeters. <laughs> Gameplay highlights. Not clickable. Cool. Choose your hunter. You know what would be great here? A video. Have we seen a video at all? I don't think we've seen any videos except for the top video. Okay. Just putting that in my mind. If I got the enhanced jumping slash, heck yeah, I'm all about that. That sounds freaking awesome. I really like that. If I got the enhanced jumping slash, heck yeah, I'm all about that. That's... Uh, are they... What? What? How... What? That quote is so... That quote is... What? That quote means absolutely nothing to me. Choose your quest. I enjoyed the hero and monster progression. Okay. Cool. I, I didn't realize there was monster progression. Choose your own adventure. This is great. Why? Well, I, st I still haven't seen a video. I still don't know the shipping. Very surprisingly for myself, I enjoyed the quest book. Okay. I have to admit that I absolutely love this choose-your-own-adventure prelude, as it set the mood of the encounter brilliantly, and I could immediately see how much replay value such a mechanic would give to the game. I am so glad that you took this spectacular quote and buried it 27 minutes into your Kickstarter page, where absolutely no one is going to see it unless they're watching this video, or they are just absolutely stark raving mad about this game. Enter dynamic battles controlled by monster behavior. The two monsters I have, I feel differently different. They wait. Those are great quotes, but I'm done. I'm done rating quotes. I'm done rating quotes. I just want to know the shipping, but you want me to rate quotes. Just keep giving me quotes. We're up to like 30 quotes now. Swinging or shooting, as the case may be, your weapon feels as satisfying as it does in the video game. Really? <clears throat> I really enjoyed the card play. Okay, <laughs> I like King of Average's quotes. I cannot stress enough how enjoyable I found the gear system. I enjoyed the loot and getting the loot and crafting different things and feeling more powerful with my new weapons. Cool. I'm done with quotes. No more quotes. I'm sick of quotes. Stop the quotes. Down the rule booklet. That's cool. Uh, videos. Unboxing. Great. Great. I don't care. I don't want to see your minis. Here we go. Reviews. Cool. Go. Awesome. Great. Gameplays. This is great. This is all stuff I'd love to see way long ago. But now I just want to see the shipping, because I still don't know the shipping, and I'm so freaking annoyed that I am nearly 30 minutes into exploring your Kickstarter, and I don't know the shipping. What is this? Let's play... Oh, okay. Another video. Meet the team. Cool. Signed cursive. Shipping. Ha ha! Because we don't want you to know all of how much it costs until you've seen literally everything else about the game. Why? Why do they do that? United Kingdom. 12 to 20. And then uh, Channel Islands, 18 to 26, USA. Once again, I, I'm not the biggest fan. Try and convert it. Convert it. And say, you know, and here's the thing. I, I, I had somebody actually slam in the comments yesterday. They say, oh, they can't convert that because the currency fluctuates. And I say, that's why you have general price ranges. And you say, in, in the Channel Islands, whatever currency currency is, it's currently this to this. And, you know, you put right here, We obviously these things are going to fluctuate, but this is the general 56, Jesus Christ, dollar 64. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Are, are you making me look stupid on the currency again? I think those are euros. I think those are euros. How much does a euro look like? What's a euro? Jesus Christ, I'm so stupid sometimes. <laughs> I, you would think, I do this every day. I should know what a freaking euro and a pound looks like, but I do not. Uh, euro symbol. Okay, here we go. That's So that's a pound. That is a pound. So 56 pounds. Let's, let's double check. <laughs> double check. Pound symbol. Yes, that is the pounds. Excellent. 56 pounds. 56 pounds to... Dollars. So we're looking at seventy-eight dollars shipping on the cheap end. On top of this, making this a three hundred and sixty-something dollar thing. Also, this oh, that's for the core pledge. That that's for the core pledge. Um. Wow. So, and I'm assuming they mean, oh, no, no, this is the entry pledge. That's just the, so you don't even tell me what it is for the entry pledge? 
<clears throat> I, I mean, I know, we all know that you don't want anyone to actually take the entry pledge. The entry pledge is just there to make retailers happy so they can get that and they can put it on their shelves. And then, you know, uh, <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that. 306 people backed it. But, 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 but most people are here for the, for the big thing. But Jesus, you don't tell me how much it is for, the co for just the entry pledge. Uh, and you don't tell me how much it is for the all-in pledge, which, let's be quite frank, is the most useful information. You have 1,400 people here. <laughs> you have 7,299 people here. And you... Wait, oh, 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 nope. I thought maybe, I thought maybe I spoke too soon. You're not going to tell me how much it's going to cost to ship all that? See the shipping section for more details. Really? What what details am I missing here? Below are rough estimates for shipping a core pledge. The price is shown are best estimates based on current rates, but please be aware, once the campaign is finished and you confirm... So how much larger is the core pledge from the all-in pledge? Because it's, it's substantially larger. So am I looking at $150 shipping? Like, what, what are we looking at here? I need to know that. You know, I know we're all up here just, you know... Pac-Man Jones throwing money up in the strip club, dropping four hundred dollars on Kickstarters here. But I at least need to know approximately how much shipping it's going to cost. And you can't even give me that. You can't give me that on what clearly is the most popular pledge. You only have one pledge listed here: the freaking core pledge. So the entry pledge, the people on the dollar menu, you don't get to know. But I'm assuming it's cheaper than this. And the people, the, the whales, you don't get to know either. But this small subsection in the middle, we can tell you how much it'll be. Like, what the hell is that? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Ugh. Below is a rough schedule. Cool. Great. Excellent. Whatever. Don't care. I'm sure it's listed over here. September 2022. Seems reasonable. So, you know, Essen potentially. All right, let's get to the FAQ, the updates, the comments. As always, I rate these things a 0, 1, or 2. Right now, I'm going to give this a very tepid 1. I mean, the bottom line is I have three questions, and I feel like they're very simple questions to answer. Do I want it? Yeah. It looks cool. You didn't wow me. You didn't amaze me. You clearly are leaning incredibly heavy on your IP and incredibly heavily on the fact that you have, ooh, look how big the pieces of plastic are. Gameplay-wise, heh. You know, I'd want to go, so I'm going to give it a one. Go and actually watch a gameplay video of it. Watch one of those playthroughs and see if it's going to be a game that you actually want to play. Don't get the hype. Don't be like, oh my God. Well, I mean, obviously you're not going to get hyped about those daily unlocks. <laughs> Maybe they're banging in the updates. We'll see in the updates. Is the Wild Spot a waste set and expansion? Can the core sets can be combined? Absolutely. What are the daily unlock? How do I get it? Okay. Once again, you got a lot of stuff here. 23, and one thing I'd recommend doing is go, and I mention this every single day, go look at Reload, if you have a lot of FAQ. Go look at Reload from Colossal Games, how they handle their FAQ section. They have it. So in big, bold words right next to it, it tells you exactly what you're looking at. Oh, this is shipping. This is questions about the game. Add-on is expansion. Uh, and it makes it just easier to navigate through this FAQ, because right now, I don't really... I, I've read a lot. I really, I really don't want to read more. But we will with the updates. Let's see how they're doing. 6519. Ooh, not great. 108 35. <clears throat> 9917. 156 40. 133 26. And how many backers were there on this again? So 9,748 backers. And the most comments you've got is 40. That tells me these aren't the most riveting, engrossing. You, you, you are getting a lot of hearts, which I will say. And oh, wow. Okay. Cool. Showing me the miniatures. Towering at 250 once again. Inches would be good. But but once again, you, you redeem yourself with that right there. I can clearly see uh, the size of the scale. Awesome. A lot of text. A lot of text. So this is pretty much... Wait, is this... Is this... Are you spotlighting? Wait, are you spotlighting an expansion? Things seem quiet until you realize you're standing in the eye of a storm. Oh man, this Kickstarter! <laughs> to, uh, this, are you are you just highlighting your expansion? Is that what this is? Not sure if you can live up to the challenge. Uh, what do Elder Dragon expansions add to the game? Cool. I don't. I'm not gonna read this. Why would I want to read this? I either bought it or not bought it. Like, why are you sending me an ad about one of your expansions? I I, I don't like this update. Not a fan. And dear God, it's long. Like, I guess if you really wanted to get into the weeds. So they're they going for that crowd right here. And that crowd 
like this. Um, but I will say, I think this is five updates in two days now. If you keep popping them out, you know, a couple a day, and they're this freaking lengthy, it's going to get to the point where people are like, you know what? I'm going to, I'm really just going to skip those. So we got 65 hearts, 19 comments, because once again, you didn't give me any room to respond there. I didn't see any questions. End every single update with a question, so that way you can get your people engaged, active, and talking. Log in bonus. And I actually do. I want to check, you know what, that's not fair, that's not fair. Uh, I was gonna look at I was gonna look at Simon's Kickstarter again and see how many updates they had uh, or how many comments they had and how many um, I was gonna compare because I'd love to 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 really compare the numbers on that. So this is the daily unlock. Okay, login bonus. Great Jagras armor. You know what? I would start with the daily unlock. Daily unlock number two for Coral and Pledge. That makes me want to click. This is more just like. Bleh, 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 bleh. Palico discovered level up, and this is where you're gonna tell me more about her. Cool. Excellent playthrough. Okay. Once again, dull and boring. It's not just me. <laughs> Apparently, Saluka Coin also agrees. They have been planning this for so long. You think they would have had the unlocks already approved by Capcom? Need them to get them reviewed. And this is definitely not a half ass campaign from a marketing standpoint. Um. As this is not... Wow. Okay, what have we stumbled into? It's really funny that this was the update. Yesterday, I did the survey and said I'd love to have the actual Palico figures in the game, too. Oh, cool. The daily reveals are super disappointing. Come on, Steamforged Games. That's just weak. Considering that you only run the campaign for 10 days, you should make it truly rewarding to check every single day. Here's my take. Uh, uh, yes. 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 It's not just me. So, it's not just me. And, and I'm sorry, Steamforge. You pissed off. You go aim that anger at Simon. Simon has just absolutely dominated and shown everyone how to run. Let me rephrase this: how to get buzz about a Kickstarter. They're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. They got a lot of flaws, but when they do things well, they do them really well. Sorry, Steamforge. Oh my God! This is a two million dollar project, and they're getting blasted in their updates. <laughs> what? That's so absurd to me. We uh, board gamers, we are the worst. <laughs> We are the freaking worst. Oh. <laughs> Info update. I just want to kind of read the comments now on, on, on what... <laughs> okay. Uh, for over a well million dollars with the first 24 hours of campaign, I sure hope we get more than just the nine login bonuses. I'd like to see additions to gameplay. I love that. I love it. It's like, I want more than these nine things. And yet they still made $2 million. Do they care about comments or do they care about the dollars? They care about the dollars. Um, because Steamforge Games is smart and they get these IPs. And presumably they slap on decent games. I mean, I've never heard anything spectacular about any of their games. Uh, like I've never, and I'm not saying that in a negative way. I'm just saying that as a purely matter of fact way. I have never heard anyone just rave on and on and on about a Steamforge game game. And in fact, I don't even know. So I'm going to give this a one. But I am going to I'm going to see if I played any of these games. And let's go check out the comments because I am very interested to see what people are saying. <laughs> The last update concerning Kushala Dorora shades away some questions and brings up other. How does it all fit, fit a tie together? I'm guessing you can't take on Kushala straight away. So this is someone just who's totally about this game. Awesome. Close to two... Okay, so it's mostly... I feel like it's a very vocal minority in the update section. It looks like most people are excited. And I think it's just... We're so spoiled. We're so spoiled on <laughs> Kickstarter. Uh, it's ridiculous. But yes, it looks like, I would agree, I'm going to give this a 1. I'm going to give it a 1. Uh, Monster Hunter World, the board game, I would quite honestly watch a video on it, decide if it's going to be a game for you. Uh, I cannot, in good conscience, just slap a 2 on this and say, hey, go spend! Because, because once again, I don't even know the damn price! And then, Okay, so this 40-page rule book, let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. How to win. Because I will be honest with you, a lot of times when I look at rule books, I'm like, I can't wait to read this, I'm excited to read this. I am not excited to read this one. Why do we have so much filler artwork? Contents. Okay, so this is good. This is good. I like this. Okay. Pictures. 
This is this is really in depth of the components. Uh, setup looks good, but I want to go back and check out the games. I want to check out the games because I really am curious. Uh, so we're gonna go all the way to the bottom. Yeah, I, I've never played that. I've never played that. I've seen both these games at conventions, and they just don't look appealing to me at, at all. I've never heard of this game. Uh, this is just minis. Horizon Zero Dawn. Never heard anything about that game. I, I don't even know that game was popular. Is that game out? Did that come out? I feel like I would have heard something about that game if it had come out. 15,000 comments. That's a lot. 85 updates. That's a lot. Let's just. I just want to make sure this is up. Production update 3. We're on track to deliver Wave 2 in July 2021. Oh, so this is not out either. Oh, okay. So there was more than three games. I apologize. So it looks like the one did come out. Uh, but that, uh, that, that, so that's what really kind of worries me a little bit more. When I, Dark Souls the game, Resident Evil the game, God Tier the game, uh, Devil May Cry I believe is out. So uh, those are four games and I have never heard anyone say anything about those games in a positive way ever. Uh, but that being said... That's not to say it's a negative, it's just that I am deeply engrossed into the board game hobby. I mean, I do a weekly podcast, I do interviews and stuff like that, it's, uh, and I've never heard anything say anyone about those games, which scares me just a little bit, even though Bard Song did look really sick and cool. But anywho, we have dug into this about as deep as you could possibly dig into a Kickstarter. That is the Monster Hunter World, the board game Kickstarter critique. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers, celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube content, and as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye.